Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hello, Scorpios. This is your June readings. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Scorpio. Felt like I needed to take that like breath. Sigh of relief. Someone's been holding their breath. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, something's been kind of like is waiting on the outcome of something see that how it's like ugh, yes or no we don't know holding your breath waiting something was unsure weighing something out could have been waiting for someone to make a decision or they were waiting on you it's a waiting game that's what i heard in my head it's a waiting game waiting to make a decision Yes, because look at this fucker. He's not doing nothing. So he's holding on to all the pentacles. Someone sat on something. Someone didn't make a choice. Someone didn't make a move. Someone didn't offer something. And then someone moved on. I can feel it. Someone moved on. Because that's, that's not tolerated by high vibe people. A low vibrational person will wait. They'll fuck around with them, still play games and bullshit, right? But high vibe people won't do that. People who want better for themselves won't fuck around. Just won't do it. Whoever this is, they weren't willing to open up or make a decision. So someone left. Five of wands. It's too much, it's too much drama. It's too much drama. What the fuck is this? It's ridiculous. Too much drama. No. Could also have been somebody was juggling. Bitch, that's worse. Oh, fuck. That's worse. Juggling? Oh, hell no. Because that's competition. Remember what your first card was? Look, Scorpio, you're coming in hot. Juggling. And here's Scorpio. Death. Someone put, the, put an end to something. Something ends. It ended. This is about... Endings creating new beginnings. This is... It also feels like someone here was hope... Someone's hopeful for a new beginning. Yeah, see, it's what they want. They're wishing for it. Wishing and hoping and praying and wishing and thinking and hoping and praying. Six of Pentacles, give me another chance. Someone wants another chance. Ace of Cups, yes, they want another chance. Someone also chose themselves over this. You know the saying is, I love you, but I love me more? That's this. Because this is self-love first and foremost. This is like, I, listen, boo-boo. I may love you and want you, but if you're acting like a fool, if you're not reciprocating what I give, or giving me what I fucking deserve, making me beg for it, ask for it, or whatever, I'm out. Because it's a higher vibrational person. They're not going to tolerate fuckery and crumbs. This is someone who chose themselves. I love you, but I love me more. This can also be related to a job career situation too, right? Same concept, it's just work. I love this job, I love my coworkers, but this pay is bullshit. But the way that I don't have flexibility, I can't deal with. I need flexibility or whatever this is. I deserve more time off, whatever. That's also something new coming in. It's a new job or a new beginning, new love, something of the sort, something new. 10 of wands, see, all on their own. Someone here carried the weight of something all by themselves carried the weight of a relationship or did all the job duties himself someone here said this is bullshit i'm tired <laughs> you gonna help me how can they help they don't offer nothing but hold on to their own shit does that person look like they're in a position to help no no that's why they didn't help <laughs> see i told you they walk away Eight of cups, they leave. They say, uh, I love you, but I love me more. And I gotta go. 
And if you can figure out your shit, great. We can try it again if it feels right. And if it don't, it don't. Hey, listen, hey, would I come back to this job? Sure. If you can offer me what I deserve, sure. It almost feels like there was something so close, but there was a but. So it was like a hard decision to walk away from this person or this situation because it was like, I love everything about this, but let's say it's, it's all these things, but this person won't commit or this person won't leave their current partner, whatever the fuck it was, right? It's like everything. So all this, but there's a, but seven of swords. That's the, but right? Something not adding up, something that wasn't fully it. It just wasn't it fully. Like, it's just like, no, no. Mm -mm. Queen of Pentacles, she knows her worth. Knight of Pentacles, an offer. See, this is them giving her crumbs. Crumbs. And she's like, I'm a fucking queen. And you're going to disrespect me by giving me crumbs? I don't give crumbs. I'm a queen. That's exactly what the fuck this was. Whether this is in work or love, someone gave crumbs and thought that they could get away with that, that it was okay. And it's really disrespectful, actually, to give someone less than they deserve because you think they just won't say anything. What kind of bullshit is that? See that? No. No. Someone didn't accept this cup of love. Someone here is going, no. I'm telling you, it's some kind of unreciprocated energy here. Or someone pulling all the weight and the other one did not. Three of Cups. This Three of Cups here is celebrations. This Three of Cups is like, yay, like toast and you know, stuff like that. So it's like happiness and joy. It's like, yay having fun, spending time with friends, happily single, judgment, a final decision. Someone made a final decision. It's the final cut. This, it, this is it. Fuck this shit. You know that vibe? Fuck this shit. No way. If someone said enough is enough. There was no more waiting to hear back or decision. It's like you cut them loose before. Because let's say, for example, they kept you in the dark and like kind of just hanging. It's like you cut the line loose to let yourself go free. You know what I mean? Someone made that final decision, a, a final decision that it's over. Must have been love, but it's over now. Prosperity, yes, of course. This is gonna be a prosperous season for you because you're cutting, uh, cutting the dead weight. Aligning yourself with a better path and vibration, putting yourself in a position to attract really beautiful, high vibed things. Yeah, walking away, everything screams it. Eight of cups and now you have the actual card, walking away. Because I love you, but I fucking love me more. Leap of faith, someone took a very big leap of faith by walking away. A lot of people are afraid to walk away because they're afraid what if nothing better comes? But how can that be the best? That's the creme de la creme, someone not reciprocating? Are you seriously afraid of losing that? Really? What's worse than that? Someone giving you crumbs? I would say that's probably, that's, that's bad. So there was a leap of faith here. Someone rolled the dice. You may have rolled the dice and like, this can also be that too. You walk the fuck away. You leave, you quit. They offer you something better. They, 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 they wake the fuck up. They wake up. It's a wake up call. Oh my God. You know what? You're fucking right. What am I doing? I'm going to lose my best employee. I'm not, I'm not going to lose my best employee. We're going to move heaven and earth to get something for you that, you, that you're going to be happy with and that you deserve. You're fucking right. I apologize. Is this a partner? Do they wake the fuck up when you walk away? Do they go, oh my God. Oh my God. You know what? You're fucking right. I have been a piece of shit. I have not been giving you everything of me like you give to me. Is it a wake-up call? 
And is it too late? Again, reciprocity, six of pentacles, twice, two different decks, giving and receiving. I just want what I give. And if you can't give me what I give and match that and exceed, I mean, then it's a no. This is you getting what you deserve, whether it's the same person giving it to you or someone new. You get what you deserve. See, she has to let it go. Five of Cups, she has to let go of the idea of it. She has to let go of the thought of it or the thing itself. She has to pour that cup out and say, it's just not meant. So there was definitely a period here of somebody having to release something, let go of something, um, purge it. It has been a really dark, intense time, past maybe week. Mother's Day was just yesterday. But I would say maybe since, maybe longer, maybe since the eclipse, the last eclipse, which was 5-5, five, five, Cinco de Mayo. It's felt different. Different in a good way or a bad way, right? Mm -hmm. Different. There's change here. And sometimes change doesn't always feel wonderful and great and happy and yay in the beginning. Not always. And sometimes it is. That fucker. It's the emperor. Pardon me. Because I don't flash the fucking world. Strategic. Someone was holding back. Was it strategic? Was it a low vibe holding back? Or did they hold back because they had to? Were they trying to play a game? Scorpios are like human lie detectors too. You can't lie to one. They just know something's off. They don't know what to. They don't know, they have no clue. Sometimes they'll be like, I don't even fucking know. I just know something ain't right. And Scorpios can be hella paranoid. So sometimes nothing's wrong. They're just fucking paranoid because they trust nobody. Because remember, Scorpios rule underground, the underworld. They rule death. They rule that below the surface. And it ain't always pleasant. They trust no one. What, what are you up to? Why are you waiting? Why are you not offering? Why are you not making a move? You know what I'm saying? Whether that's good or bad, however this works out, whatever this is, it's strategy. Does someone try to play a chess with you? They thought you was playing checkers. They thought they was playing chess. Uh, checkmate. Last card, see, look, she's leaving. Ten of swords, something ends. She's walking towards the sun, which is new beginnings. Someone definitely walks away from something. All right, guys, let's get into your extended, okay? If you want to rent it, it's going to be on my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com, in the extended section of June extended, or click that upside down triangle below, brings up all my links. First one will go to there, to my website. Second one is for Patreon. You definitely want to follow me there. I always tell you guys, it's the only place you can watch extended to the collective readings I do here, the special love ones. And also it's where I do extra readings that you cannot watch anywhere else and erotic ones. All right, guys. So I will see you in your extended. All right. Please take care. I love you.